It's already been one year since we were in Brooklyn for Bushwick Open Studios, and today we're back again at the studio of Fina Jung, who has taken her theme of finding a sense of home in an urban environment, and this year is presenting it in an entirely new way. This year I'm showing a mixed media of cardboard, painting, photography, and uh, personal interviews of uh, four migrant women living in New York City. First, I interviewed and photographed them at their home. I also photographed objects uh, from their home. After that, I um, have my own interpretations and recreate the sense of um, their living space. The four women are from India, Jamaica, Guatemala, and China. Fina recreated their spaces using cardboard in various forms and colors, with many photographs of accents from their homes hanging from cotton strings. Just as these women's stories differ, so do Fina's representations of their transplant urban habitats. She lives with her parents. So I see that her living space is more like her parents' space. It's more like a child, very comfortable, like young and green and yellow. <laughs> I think that's what the colors are for. And uh, this woman from Jamaica, she is such a, a bright personality. She just like love to share her, her stories and even she cook for me after. <laughs> So um, to me, she's really colorful. This lady, she's here from Guatemala, and uh, her apartment is a bit small, and she shared her space with uh, her two daughters. And um, it's a bit plain, so in a way, I kind of paint it with a little bit plain color. She was a student, and right now she's sharing uh, her apartment with uh, two other young professionals. Her idea of home is still like maybe where she, she was born. Her apartment, is, to me, is not very personal. So I painted more what she have, like the red pillow, and also she have a lot of the toys. At last year's Bushwick Open Studios, Fina exhibited monochrome cardboard installations alongside black and white photographs taken around Hong Kong. This year, she's taken her theme in a new direction, experimenting with vivid colors, new materials, and new methods of exploring her theme. This time I introduced the material rope. When I was forming this cardboard, I would feel like I'm weaving it when I'm using the rope. So in a way, it's kind of feminine also. The title of this uh, installation is called uh, Feminine Lines in a Cage. So um, the feminine lines are not only the lines I created you know, on the cardboard, but also the spoken lines. Their story um, revealed their you know, complex uh, experiences of uh, living in the city. Whether it's where you were born, where you live, or where your friends and family are, home has a different meaning for everyone. Fina hopes her installation will make visitors consider their own definition. I would say you have to always ask yourself this question actually. Where is your home? For them, they're very different, right? Like this woman here from Jamaica, she's very specific because she wanted to have a house. Because um, when she grew up in Jamaica with her mother, the house is, is big. That's the home to her. I hope that through reading their story, they can reflect their desire finding a home in New York City. Yeah.